Is there any way I can get sales to try and overcome one star reviews to balance the reviews and boost positivity? This is something that yes, you're going to want to do the way that you remove a negative review. If you can't is to bury it. Okay. And the way that you bury it is you get more reviews on top of that review. Now, the other thing is though, is a review that is getting more attention can also then just rise to the top. So there's nothing guaranteeing that you're going to be able to bury that. Although there is a good chance, um, that you can, uh, that you can move it down. So it's not the first thing that you're seeing. So how do you get sales? How do you get faster sales? Well, before I would do that, I would reach out to all of your past customers through messenger and write up some type of message that says, Hey, I just wanted to check in with you, make sure that everything is still good since you've received your item. Uh, you know, we always want to make sure that our customers are happy and oh, if you could do us a quick favor, if you could leave us a review on how we did, that would be amazing. You might be sitting on some reviews right now without getting more sales. So that's one strategy. The second strategy would be to run a sale. So try to run a sale. And it might be a sale that is going to break even, or maybe you make, you know, maybe you're going to make a dollar a unit, or you're going to make $5 a unit, like whatever it is, you're sacrificing profit to bury that. Okay. And to really move that down. So you can then work on getting more positive reviews. The other thing to do is run Etsy ads. So get aggressive with the pricing and then get aggressive with your Etsy ad. If you do that, you're now going to increase the likelihood of your products selling. Now, if you have a product that isn't really in demand, it's going to be hard because now you're trying to reach people that aren't actively searching for something. And so that could be a problem. So that might take you going back to the drawing board, finding an in demand product that fits your brand. And then from there running through the launch process that we've talked about here on the YouTube channel, which is basically create a really great product that has a lot of demand, create a great listing, optimize it as you always would with a good title, images, description, tags, all that good stuff, and then run a product launch. And the way that we do it is we're going to discount that sometimes to just about break even. And we're going to run that for seven days and we're going to start running Etsy ads targeting just that listing. So we're going to make, turn everything else off and just, and just point everything to that. If you don't want to turn everything else off, just increase your budget a little bit. And then that way there, there's enough bu budget to go all the way around. And then this is going to now be able to get you fresh sales, which then could also lead to reviews. But I still would do what I said in the beginning. I would reach out to these people in messenger inside of, of Etsy. And I would reach out to those customers after they've received the product and let them know that you're a small business. You want to make sure that they're happy and it would mean the world to you if they would leave their feedback on a review. And that's it. That's how I would try to get sales coming in faster or leveraging the sales that you've already received.